Elf or Elif. Just like Milf, Rimuru has coined the name Elif. He loves Elf. There's gotta be a reason, right? Probably back on Earth when he was still, you know, a human. I wonder what his search history that he wanted Tamara to destroy. I bet the elves are in there too. Now we're in Dorgon. There's some drama going on with the main, you know, blacksmith guy and the minister. He's forcing us to do a bunch of requests. That's impossible. Some shit's going down. I think at the end of the day, there's some drama that gets resolved. And then we post those dwarf guys back. Why? To build houses and shit. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Mm, something. Okay, see, he's got his arm out. Oh, a pretty lady. That's not the only thing that's smooth, lady. Mangopta's still here, sleeping. Giga Chad. Yo. That's a little sus. Of all the fucking elves, it's mostly milf, but then there are some lolly ones. Why is the guy that doesn't talk mm, mm, with the lolly one? Mm. <laughs> Try what? <laughs> a different pillow? <laughs> what do you do with your hands? <laughs> you know in Konosuba, Kazuma does like this? <laughs> what is it? An elf massage? <laughs> Nuru Nuru massage? Hey, yo. I don't think she's talking about that. Yes. Ready for what? Ah, oh, fortune telling. I thought... Whatever. See the future? The future. Destined to be with. Destined to be with. Doesn't... He doesn't take on a lover. No, 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 no. But there is a girl in the mask that there is some sentimental value for, right? Hmm. Are we gonna see that girl in the fortune telling? Eh? Thanks. That's terrible. We're not gonna be with anybody? Minister's about to crash. Uh oh, someone's gonna crash the party. We're gonna... Oh, we're, we're getting some? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Mask. Show me the mask. What if it says Veldora? Would it be hilarious if it says Veldora? There she is. Her with the kids. Yes, yes. She was the one that was summoned here, right? Not, uh... Oh! Right, because she was a teacher! And these kids... Oh, I forgot! Because uh, there's an arc where we go to the... Go to a different kingdom, and, and there's a traitor, but the kids are there, and we train them. And then the traitor, like, fucking leaks it to Hinata, the church. Oh, yeah! That's crazy! That's... Cr okay, the kids, I recognize that. Okay. We basically just take her body, right? We just become her. Party pooper! Boo! Get your Patrick Boos out! Boo! Boo! Minister! Minister Vesta starting shit. Look at that fucking evil little mustache, dude. Little pointy ass mustache looking guy. Get out of here. Now we already sent them in. Listen. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. What's it be like? It must be 40 now. Yeah, he's starting shit for no reason. Well, there is a reason though. Oh, what? Oh, he's racist! Racist Vesta! Boo! Oh! Bro, that's actually fucking mean. Harmless? Not harmless, but still boo! Yeah, his voice actor is very familiar. Lame ass minister, power tripping minister. 
Oh my god, he's gonna fucking pour it. Oh, no. wait, does he pour it over the elves' titties though? Because, you know, that's fan service. No way. No. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine the elf was still there with the titties on top like a pillow. He just poured it over. Cause that was a missed opportunity, okay? That is a missed opportunity. <laughs> it could have been right there. Coming down the crevice, you know? <laughs> totally, dude. <laughs> Disrespectful. <laughs> Fuck him up. Wait, but maybe Kaijin will just fight for us. We'll probably get like fucking alcohol resistance, right? Oh, Kaijin! Yeet! Totally deserved. Totally deserved. Fuck you, Vesta. True? <laughs> My father will hear about this. What the fuck? Get out of here. No, don't go easy on him. Yeah. Body shots. Because, you know, face bro. Damn. Yo, Kaijin packs a fucking punch. Yeah. Let's go, Kaijin and the bros too. <laughs> Vesta and his man behind. Dude, the person behind Vesta, his helper, got knocked out by catching Vesta from the impact of the punch. Is there a reason why Kaijin can't just leave? I guess assaulting a minister does get you in jail, right? Vesta's getting taken out on a stretcher. The trial. Oh, we get to finally meet Gazel. Egghead Baldi is also going. Wait, Gopta, we got the same jail cell. He's still sleeping. Long sleeper. Is Gopta actually going to sleep throughout this entire arc? Holy shit, what a giga chad. Okay, backstory time. Captain of the Seven Orders of the Royal Knight. What the fuck? Oh, he was him back then. Vesta was making robots? What have you done? This is how Terminator begins. Magic Soldier Project. Damn. So he fucked up. And he blamed it on him. <laughs> Fuck Vesta. But doesn't Vesta get like a character redemption arc later? I think he does. Dude, he is so petty. He is very petty, very pathetic. こう焦ったのも王の期待に応えようとした結果だしな。俺がこの国がもう少しはマシになるかもな。そんなものかね。ビモルの旦那。なるぜ。Let's go, but it's not that simple. We got to go to the court first. Oh, a little handshake. それなんですけど。俺たちも行きます。Are you guys ready for the hmm hmm? Here it comes. Mm -hmm. Speak, man! Not at all. Please join us. He can laugh, though. Is he just really mute? We just leave him here? Just figure it out? 
I feel like we will forget because he just said that. I mean, Gopta is like a shonen main character, right? He needs like sleeping for like two days. All right. The King's Court. Oh, shit. Gazelle. He is an epic dude. I like the way he flips his cape and says, Sarabada. Gazelle Dwargo. Wait, but we're stuck in a chain. The Dwarf King. Damn, Hero King. He is pretty intimidating looking, huh? Like, look at him. Boy, wait, let's see all the way around. We were just chilling at the bar. He fucking showed up out of nowhere, stormed us fucking through a drink on. How are you gonna say this bullshit, dude? Fake news! Yeah, isn't that our lawyer? I just realized that's our fucking lawyer. I that that that's not Vesta's lawyer. It's it's our lawyer that we, that's been bought out. How the fuck? It's, it's so fucking stupid. I thought this is Vesta's lawyer talking for a second. Fake news. Fake news. Boo. Boo. Look at him. He's just like. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Don't disappoint me now. Come on. Come on, dude. Just fucking confess. If you just fucking confess and apologize, I bet he would just say it's fine. But he doesn't, right? He does some, he does some snake shit right now, right? We are guilty on all charges. 20 years? No. no, we know it doesn't happen, but still 20 years? They didn't do anything, bro. They were just saying the Kaijin's the one that punched because they're just associated with 10 fucking years? That's some bullshit. That's it? That's it? We. I... Oh. Gazelle. The king. The king! Oh, he's so epic, dude. Look at the way he's just sitting, too. Look, look at the way he just slept. Look at this shit. Something about that just feels so kingly, right? I don't know. Just looking at him, it just exudes his confidence. I look pretty fucking dumb right now, but you know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Look at him. And then the voice acting too. So deep. Damn. Giga Chad Hero Dwarf. <laughs> They're boys. Kaijin and the Hero King are fucking bros. <laughs> Vesta is trying to fucking just buy he bought the lawyer out. They're trying to fucking make it sound so bad that just seems to dismiss us. And the king is like, yo, Kaijin. Fuck that 20 years of you know manual labor. You wanna join my ranks back in the fucking royal whatever squad? Imagine how Vesta feels right now. It's like, are you fucking serious? You're gonna give him a fucking position right now? Yeah, see, look at Vesta. I humbly reject. Damn, my master. What a loyal man. I bet Gazel even respects that even more. At this moment, Gazel realized, yeah, Kaijin is him. Look at this dude. So fucking loyal. Ah, cringe! Cringe knights! Look at the eye of resolve right there. He totally respects it. Dewa. <laughs> 40 years in the fucking mines for rejecting me! Right, exile is fine. Exile, exile is better in manual labor. Let's go. The exile is pretty much just an excuse, right? Because we were gonna leave. 
He's totally sad. Godzilla is probably so sad. It's like my bro Kaiji is gonna leave me. No, I got this fucking annoying ass Vesta instead. No, <gasps> oh, Kaiji is crying. Manly tears. Manly tears, dude. Completely ignored Vesta. 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 You better confess right now, dude. You got one chance, dude. Don't fuck this up. Don't be a snake. I have lost the loyal. I think this is a really important line because who is this referring to? Kaijin? Or is it actually Vesta? Because Vesta used to be kind of loyal and didn't lie, but now he's kind of changed. Isn't that what he's implying here? No, not Kaijin. You. You turn bad. Yeah, there's a second layer here. I'm not talking about Kaijin. Mm, I remember, yeah! Oh. Damn. Damn. He just fucking broke that. He knew. He didn't even have to say it. He didn't even have to say it. Look, look, just the fucking stare in silence. <gasps> His face just realized. He's like, oh my god. Fuck. Fuck, it's me. Oh no. <laughs> Waited years. Even after you blame Kaijin for that bullshit. Apologize! Confess your sins! Damn. Damn. This is just as good as the first time I see this because like I did not expect anything from this like when I first saw this but during the King Court scene suddenly the emotional fucking just the emotional soundtrack that plays the fucking Kaijin and Vesta flashback and then Vesta just starts fucking crying because the King was waiting this entire time. How did I get emotionally invested into this character? What the fuck? Gazel is very majestic. He is a true king. He's got that King Riz. Bro, what the fuck? Damn. He was just the biggest simp. He just wanted to serve his majesty. <laughs> that was best when he was a kid. <laughs> Fucking nerd. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell him it's not too late. I will exile myself. Never again? L plus ratio. Huh? Doesn't the king also send a spy after Rimuru? Right? Isn't there someone that he tells to track Rimuru, right? Yo, what about Gopta? Yo, yo, what about Gopta? We said we wouldn't forget him. Yo! What? Gopta? Does Gopta have to break himself out of the jail cell? <laughs> Alright. Go yeah, go Gopta's fine. Gopta's fine. The spy, right? The spy for Rimuru. Who is this girl? I think it's just a random elf. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? The proxy. Punish him. The proxy. I'm not able to make the connection here, but he does send her after Rimuru, right? Unthi is it because he noticed Veldora's aura also? What does God the lawyer? Oh, ha, 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 the piece of shit fucking lawyer. <laughs> Our lawyer, that's a shit I have. Okay, get fucked lawyer, but okay, that's actually nice. It's just a slime, bro. Just a friendly slime. Yeah! So he knew of I mean he's the fucking hero, dwarf, right? Of course he's gonna be aware, but goddamn, he could sense it. That he could fucking sense it. 
We did have we had like no conversation, but he could sense it. And that's the episode. Another episode where there isn't really that much exciting things happening. Well, in the beginning, the fight scene was funny. And I think there was a missed opportunity of Vesta's Juno you know, fucking pouring the drink down the girl's titties and Dreamuru. But the court scene, again, this show, it's just so good even if you don't have like traditionally exciting scenes. Just the way that they introduce Vesta and Kaijin and their backstory, the jealousy, the way that Vesta is trying to, you know, simp for the king's attention. But the king always knew from the beginning, even when the king like demoted kaijin and he kept vesta like on board he was still waiting for him to confess and the realization from vesta as he's fucking saying i lost a loyal retainer and he's like kaijin and then the king's like and vesta's face changes it's like damn damn shit like this is why slime is so good the little you know interplay between characters that dialogue the voice acting soundtrack everything is really good right but i think vesta he is an l character right now but from what i remember, what I remember i think he does have a pretty good redemption art it's pretty cool that the king immediately recognizes the potential of Rimuda, right the storm dragon belt where he can sense the presence and the fucking 99 you know refined potion now does this elf matter the spy or do we ever see her again i don't really remember maybe we do see her in the next couple of episodes but that's it from me but hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this Reaction, please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care